Let's continue with problem number 31. The total volume of two spheres is 105 cubic units. The ratio of their areas is 4 is to 9. So what is the volume of the smaller sphere in cubic units? Okay, so we know that the volume of sphere is 4 over 3 by r cubed. So the sum, okay, we have two uh, spheres whose, sum, whose volumes, whose, uh, sum of volumes is 100 by cubic units. Let me try to substitute here the formula. Okay, so let's say R1 is the radius of the first volume. And then R2 is the radius of the second volume or sphere. And then we can simplify this by multiplying the whole equation by 3 over 4. And ah, sorry, pi here. Okay, so that will cancel out four over three. Okay, and pi. Okay, so we get R one Q plus R two Q here equals uh, this is 300 over 4 no, no more pi here so this will serve as our first equation now the ratio of their areas is uh, the surface area is 4 pi r squared no 4 sphere so this is 4 pi r sub 1 square over 4 pi r sub 2 squared. So this will cancel out. And the ratio is 4 over 9. Now if we take the square root of both sides, that will give you one uh, r1 over r2 equals 2 over 3. And maybe we can solve for R2 in terms of R1. Uh, so 3, R1. Uh, over 2, sorry. So 3 over 2, R1. Okay. And then we substitute A2 in equation 1. We obtain the following. No? So we have R1 cubed here plus R2 is now 3 over 2 R sub 1. Okay, raised to the power 3 equals 300 over 4. What? Okay, so this is uh -huh. okay, divided by 2 raised to the power 3 plus 1. So this is 35 over 8 R1 cubed. Okay, divide by 4 times 8 divide by 35 raised to 1 divide by 3 
Indeed, these games are so funny. 58. So R1 is the radius of the smaller sphere, so therefore the volume. Okay, so using this equation. Okay, so this is the power 3 times 4 divided by 3 times 5 and this gives us 71.8 okay so 71.8 cubic units no? so the answer here is letter letter B okay so let's continue if a regular polygon has 27 uh, diagonals, then what is the type of this regular polygon? Okay, so uh, the number of diagonals in a regular polygon is given by this formula no, in terms of the number of sides. That is n over 2 times n minus 3. Now, since this is given 27, and then simply uh, um, we have n over 2 times n minus 3. Okay, this is 54 cross multiply 2 and then expand. Okay, so we get n squared minus 3 n minus 54 equals 0 and then we can factor it out so n and uh, six, uh, 9 9 6 no? this is negative positive so this gives you n equals 9 and negative 6 so this is not possible so therefore we have a nonagon Nonagon has nine sides. So the answer here is letter A. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is five hundred forty degrees. So find the number of find the number of sides. Okay. Let us derive the formula no, for finding the interior angles of five hundred forty just in case you forget the formula so let's see let's say the one interior angle is angle phi this is the center of the polygon Now, since this is uh, a regular regular polygon, so this is half of the interior, and this is your central angle. The central angle is three sixty degrees divided by the number of sides of the regular polygon. So therefore, uh, 180 degrees is in, in any triangle no, is equal to P twice of this plus the central angle 360 degrees divided by N. And then uh, solving for angle P. And we get 180 degrees minus 360 degrees divided by n. And the, the sum of the interior angles would be n times, if it's sum, no? this is one interior angle, so that will be n, n times three, this is the sum. So we get 180 degrees. Okay, multiplied by n minus 360 degrees. So 
this is so 180 degrees times n minus 2 so this is the formula for getting the sum of the interior angle so if we have uh, 540 degrees as the sum okay then 180 degrees here times n minus 2 you can solve for n so this is for n equals 5 so we have a pentagon here okay so the sum of a pentagon regular pentagon is 540 the total area of a right circular water tank is 92 centimeters square and the volume is uh, 342 cm cube to so determine the radius okay so we know that the volume is the area of the circle multiplied by the altitude okay and the lateral area okay the lateral surface area is the circumference okay multiplied by the height Okay, so uh, this is 342 This is 92 Now Dividing the, the two equation okay will give you fourteen hundred forty two divided by ninety two one hundred seventy one over forty six that is equal to we have here pi so pi will cancel out then R over 2. H will cancel out. Then we have 2 here. So solve before R. Mm -hmm. It's 7.43. So this is 7.43. 43 cm. Which is letter D. <coughs> A cone and a cylinder have the same height and the same volume to find the ratio of the radius of the cone to the radius of the cylinder. Okay, so uh, a cone, let's say this is our cone. And then a cylinder of the same height, no? Okay, this is the cylinder. Okay, so the height are the same. Let's say uh, H. The volume are the same. So we find the ratio. Now for the volume, this is one third. Y R sub 1 squared H the radius R1 is the radius of the circular base R for the cone and then for the radius uh, for the uh, cylinder R sub 2 is the radius so this is pi R sub 2 squared H. Okay, so pi H will just cancel out. Okay, so radius of the cone, so R1. Okay, so R sub 1 squared, we have R sub 2 squared here, cross multiply, and then we have 3, so the radius, so get the square root. No? A is the square root of 3. Okay, so which is 
1.732. A circle having an area of 452 meters square is cut into two segments by a cord that is 6 meters from the center of the circle. Compute the area of the bigger segment. Okay, so maybe I can draw here a circle. Okay. Uh, note that if the area is 452, which is pi r squared, we can solve for r. 452 divided by pi and then square root is okay 12, 12 meters the process is the center it's cut into two segments by a cord that is 6 meters 6 meters from the center so uh, let's say this is the cord Okay, so this distance is six, six units or six meters from the center. Now this is the okay the radius. Also, this is the radius. So this is twelve. This is also twelve. Okay, we can. Okay, so for this angle, let's say angle P. The central angle, okay, therefore is, which is, we denote it by theta, no, is equal to twice of that angle P. So, uh, we have 6 over 12. Okay, uh, that is, uh, cosine of no? cosine theta and theta therefore is equal to a cosine of point five. This, so this is 60 degrees so therefore the central angle is 120 degrees okay. so we compute first for the uh, smaller segment Okay, which is equal to okay, let's say A1 no? is equal to the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle so I'm referring to this triangle so the area of the sector is 1 half R squared okay theta which is 120 degrees times pi over 180 degrees it has to be in region units minus one half uh, one half product of two sides and then interior angle which is theta so one half 12 squared sine of 120 degrees so we can compute for the area of the sec a smaller segment okay so that is 0 0.5 12 squared times okay, 120 times 5 divided by 180 minus 0.5 times 12 squared times sine of 120 degrees and I get here 88 okay, point 44 so, uh, for the bigger segment, okay, that is the area of the circle minus the smaller segment, or rather A1, no? A1. 
so that would be 452 minus uh, 88.4 no? so, and that gives us uh, 363.6 okay that is square meter so 363 letter C Okay, find the volume of a cone to be constructed from a sector having a diameter of uh, 72 centimeters and a central angle of 150 degrees. Okay, so suppose this is a sector, now if we combine the Two, these two sides no, will give you a right circular cone ok uh, this is one, the central angle is 150 degrees so take note that the radius is equal to the slant height no, of the circular cone form and this one is the circumference ok if this is the radius of the cone ok so uh, therefore the the radius is equal to uh, 72 divided by 2 so that will be 36 36 also is the, the slant height ok and as you can see the lateral area of the cone okay, is equal to the tot, uh, rather the area of the sector so this is pi uh, r the radius of the base and then the slant height which is 36 okay. the the lateral area of a cone is pi r l <coughs> one half r squared uh, 36 is the radius of the sector and then 150 pi over 180 and that gives you okay the radius 0.5 times 36 and 150 divided by 180 and this is 15 okay 15 cm and this is the height no, which forms a right triangle with the slant height and the radius so therefore okay, the, the height is equal to the square root of L squared minus R squared so L so that will be square root of 36 squared minus 15 squared okay so that will be 32 so, so the height is 32.73 uh, so therefore the volume of the cone is one third okay, the volume is one third pi r squared h so one third pi okay 15 squared and the height is 32.73 and the volume therefore is equal to uh, 7,711 okay so cmq and seven seven no, this one so this must be the correct answer okay let's have 38 the basis of a right prism is a hexagon with one of its side equal to six centimeters the bases are 12 centimeter apart so what is the volume of the prism <coughs> Okay, so we have a hexagon here, so six sides. Okay. Uh -huh. 
so six uh, one side is six no six centimeters so the distance between the two bases is actually the height so this is 12 okay the volume is equal to base area times the altitude okay the base is n s squared over 4 tangent of 180 degrees divided by n okay so we have 6 here and then 6 is the measure of one side so 4 tangent of 180 degrees divided by uh, 6 we have 6 times 6 squared divided by 4 divided by tangent 180 divided by 6 so this is 54 root of 3 so the volume is 54 square root of 3 times 12 okay so this is 11 22 137 or oh, that is FID this is of course cubic centimeters now we go to problem 39 the area of a circle circumscribing an equilateral triangle is uh, 254.47 meters square. So what is the area of the triangle in meters square? So area circumscribing an equilateral triangle. So the area is outside okay, of the equilateral triangle. Okay, so okay. this is the radius of the circle. Okay, and this is a bisector, and then the radius is also bisector of the equilateral triangle. So this is thirty degrees. So this is half. If x is the one side no, of the uh, equilateral triangle, so if the area of the circle is uh, the circle, okay, so it's two hundred fifty-four point forty-seven, which is pi r squared, the radius will be. 9 okay 9 meters okay so therefore in this right triangle okay we have okay 9 here the radius and then this is x over 2 30 degrees so we can solve for x so x over 2 over 9 is equal to uh -huh. uh, this is cosine no? cosine of uh, 30 degrees and this gives us our x which is 9 square root of 3 so therefore the area of a triangle is one half the product of two sides no? times sine of 60 degrees. 60 degrees is the interior angle. No? So this one is 60 degrees. So this gives us a su substitute 9 square root of 3. And this gives us 105.22 cm squared. So 105. This one should be the correct answer. Now, <coughs> there is another formula, no? Okay, for solving for the inscribed triangle and that is the area of the triangle okay, is equal to 
the product of the three sides no, of the triangle divided by 4 times the radius of the circle. Now, since this is an equilateral triangle, yung ating A, B, C here is equal to X. Okay. So, this is uh, X cube. Okay, we have X cube here over 4 times 9. Oh, this is a 9 square of 3 raised to the power 3 over 36. Okay. That should also be 105.22. So we have okay, uh, two possible solutions okay, for number 39. The volume of the custom of a regular triangular pyramid is 135 cubic meters. The lower base is an equilateral triangle with an edge of 9 meters. So, the upper base is 8 meters above the lower base. What is the upper base edge? 8 meters. Okay, so let us... Okay, so custom of a regular pyramid. Huh? Triangular. I mean that is cut by a parallel plane. Okay. And the lower the lower part no is your so this is this is the prostum. Okay. Now the distance between the two parallel ba bases no which are all both uh, equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. So this is nine nine meters, and then this is the height of the first two, eight eight meters. <coughs> now the volume of a first two is h over three okay, times okay, the two uh, bases a one plus a plus square root of A1 times A2. Okay, um, let's say this is our A2. So our A2 is uh, 1 half 9 squared times sine 60 degrees. So this is 35.07. The volume is 135. We have 8 over 3. Okay, this is, let's say, A plus 35.07. So plus the square root of 35.07 multiplied by A. So, okay, solving for A here, now we'll give you um, 3.89, which is one half, so if this is unknown, upper base x, so, so this is one half x squared sine of 60 degrees and so x will give you okay, 3 so the answer here is 3 find the equation of the circle with center negative 1 7 and tangent to the line 3 x minus 4 y plus 6 equals 0 The slope here is positive, no? So, we draw the line here, 
that drawn is scale okay, representing the line 3x minus 4 y plus 6 equals 0 find the equation of the circle a tangent shell no? so we draw a tangent circle here the center is given now from from the point of point of tangency to the center is actually the radius no, of the circle that is the shortest distance okay so using the the formula no for uh, distance from a point to a line that is okay, ax1 plus b y1 okay this will be your uh, x1 y1 the point okay plus c okay square root of plus or minus a squared plus b squared okay so your uh, mm -hmm. so therefore this is the radius uh, we have 3 times negative 1 plus b negative 4 times 7 plus 6 this should be the standard no? to get a b c so the right hand side must be equal to 0 over the square root of uh -huh, uh, 3 square plus square of negative 4 ok so complete first we have negative 3 uh, minus 4 times 7 plus 6 divided by square root of B squared plus 4 squared okay so this is we take the absolute value okay. which is 5 so therefore the circle is x minus minus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 7 quantity squared equals 5 squared and simplifying will get you x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 40y so okay ito x squared y squared 2x negative 40y So this must be the correct answer. Um, okay, so uh, double check. So we have 1 plus 49. So that will be 50. And then minus 5 squared or 25. Then we get 25. So the answer must be letter A. Okay, good. Let's have for number 42. A cable suspended between two posts which are the same height and 10 meters apart has a sag of 1 meter. If the cable hangs in the form of a parabola, find its equation, taking the lowest point as the origin. Okay, so let us draw our parabola. I suppose this is the parabola. And then draw two posts representing by these two vertical lines. Okay. Okay. So we uh, the sag is one meter. So we are referring to this particular distance. Now. 
this is one meter um the two okay two poles which are of the same height and 10 meters apart so this is 10 meters okay, from this point to the other point and then we'll take we'll take the x-axis we'll take this as your x-axis and then the y-axis taking the lowest point now as the origin so this will be the origin and this point is known to be so if this is 10 meters so 5 5 1 okay and uh, the standard form of the, uh, the vertices is at the origin the uh, this is linear in y so the equation must be linear in y so we have x squared for a y so this is the standard form now we have a known point here so at 5 1 we can substitute 5 1 for x y so this is 5 squared uh -huh. 4a times 1 plus a is 25 over 4 okay. so therefore uh, we have x squared equals 4 times 25 over 4 4y so the equation therefore is x squared 25 25y which is okay letter D now we go to 43 the two vertices of a triangle are 2 4 and negative 2 3 and the area is 2 square units the locus of the third vertex would be now there are actually two uh, two solutions here no? but uh, we must find the first the one solution that will give you uh, uh, the answer among the among the choices okay so we'll pick the solution that will give you one of those uh, choices okay so there are actually uh, two possibilities if we, we try to plot the points negative 2 3 so uh, negative 2 3 could be somewhere here negative 2 3 and then the other one 2 4 uh, 2 4 somewhere here we, we, we want to find the locus of the third vertex so the third vertex could be somewhere here okay or below okay below this uh, two points now so you might have two two solutions here two correct solutions actually but uh, the, uh, but we will take only the point below okay so we form a right triangle here and then we'll take this uh, counterclockwise direction the area of the polygon is one half for a triangle no? is one half okay x y x y coordinates no? top left line followed by two four okay uh, negative two three and then copy the first uh, coordinate okay first point and then we'll take this okay as so this one as positive the product okay. and then negative So uh, the area is two units. So we have here one half. Uh, we have four x here plus six minus two y minus two y plus eight uh, eight 
minus 3x okay so this will give you 4y minus x minus 10 equal 0 or this is the same as x minus 4y plus 10 equal 0 x minus 4y plus 10, so that's letter B, okay, letter B. If you take your uh, third point here, the answer is uh, you can check it, no? 4y minus x minus 16. But it's not in the choices, no? so we take the other 